So this you've got in there tomato puree, yep. bit of flour, flour. Imgur of the beer. Yeah. Of course, in restaurants we'd use some sort of veal stock that's been simmered away yeah. for hours, but at home, you know, this is the kind of the quickest way. Now you're, you're using a particular beer. People can't get that. Any any yeah, bitter or beer? Brown, yeah, a good brown ale, bitter. Good brown ale, beer, bitter. Guinness would even would yeah. be a good option. Okay. Lovely. Now, when you're cooking the salsa feet, just put literally just water, bring it to the boil, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Then we strain it off. Okay, I'll, do, I'll do that one. Okay, so we're going to get the rest of that in there. We're going to get a little bit of butter out the. Uh... Obviously, because these take a few hours to cook, you need to cook them in quite a bit of sauce. Because also, you, you don't have to boil salsa feet, can you? You can pan fry it, can't you? Really? you can yeah, you can do. Uh, you know, these are quite. Small ones, and you, you could kind of almost cook them like glacé carrots. You know, yeah. A bit of sugar and water. Yeah. Um, you could even roast them, in fact. Okay. It's lovely, 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 lovely. So that whole all goes on to, into there as yeah. well. Yeah. We're going to put that into the ribs. Okay. Now you're a massive fan of sort of traditional British food, aren't you? Really regional food as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I think these days, you know, we need to support our Producers, you know, we've got some great ingredients out there. Yeah. You know, we've got farmers, guys growing some great fruit and veg now. And, you know, why fly stuff from, in, from all over the world yeah. when we've got it on our doorstep? So this would go in the oven, yeah? Yeah. Lid on in the oven. I'll swap that over. There you go. I got, how long would this go in there for? A couple of hours? Okay, that's. For those size, you want to probably allow about two hours. Just watch two and that. a half hours, maybe. I'll call it there for you as well. Okay, so as you can see, this one, you've got a lovely dark coloured sauce now. There you go, you can use that. The beef's yeah. looking good. So we mentioned the A-listers that come into you. I mean, posh spice. Is this the type of thing that should be Oh, you're be not going to ask me those sort of questions, <laughs> then, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> not really. Ask me some proper questions. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but what are you doing now? Just drain, drain it off yeah. the gravy? Yeah, so we're going to drain that through there to get the sauce. Yep. Oops. I tell you what, I hope you've got a big brigade behind you because you make a hell of a lot of mess. We normally serve two of these a portion, but I think we might get away with one today. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I'm going to mash this, yeah? Yeah. So we're going to serve this with some uh, bash neeps. Keep it in the sort of Scottish tradition yeah. with the beer. Okay. Um, well, this is sweet in here with a touch plate. of butter. There we go. Salt and pepper. And all I've done is put the parsley in with the sauce V and a touch of butter. OK, now if that gravy is a bit too thin, what yep. would you do with it? Well, you can kind of thicken it up with some corn flour. Yeah. Or continue simmering it until you've got the right sort of thickness. But this one looks, looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Yep. Lovely. Right. God, look at that for a serving. Don't go hungry. Lovely. I Top think when you're salt. buying these, you need to kind of assess what size they are, you yep. know. You may well need to put the sauce on as well yep. when you're ready. There you are, Chef. Are you hungry, Tuffers? I oh, yeah, really like <laughs> <that> <laughs> smells You delicious. better be. <laughs> <laughs> and these just get sprinkled over the top. Look at that. Look at that. Didn't about a plate for one, it's a plate for all four of you, I think. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Remind <laughs> us what that is again. OK, so this is Brave Beef Ribs in Innocent Gun Beer and Salsify. A-list chef. Mike Hicks, brilliant. Thank you.